I think this is the first time I've drawn Crackle. I forgot it was in this deck, if we're being completely honest. Watch this! I don't know how to mod or ban people. I knew that. So you, you can just enjoy the uh, the VIP diamond instead. I, I, I was completely aware of the fact that you didn't know how to do those things. It was a token moddership, which is effectively what the uh, the VIP status also is. The first time someone... Oh my god. <laughs> my own mods are getting jabated. I kind of want to save the, uh, the Feral Spirit, so I'm probably not going to... And I definitely want to save this. So I'm just going to see what I roll here. Attack face because if it's, um, if it's Noble Sack, I heal it up anyway. So, sure. Ooh. Opponent's gonna feel bad about this one. Whoop. Did you guys see the hide I got on that? Ooh, we ruined his, uh, Murloc pool if he's playing that deck. All right, I feel like we're I feel like we're off to a pretty good start against this opponent. What does that tell me? What does it mean, chat? What does it mean? Uh, I'm overloaded, so I think I want to take this instead of the. No, no, the feral spirit lines up too nicely. It's like before the consecrate is really that relevant because it heals this back up anyway. So we just keep going face. Also, look at that sweet lifesteal in action. So this is a Consecration. I still have no idea what that secret is. It's obviously not eye for an eye, which is the best secret ever. Wait, that's not fair. I can't actually get through that. I need to devolve. And an adult. Man, this is such cheating. Wait, how much damage do I have? Four, five, eight. We have it over two turns. So I can just trade this off. Seventeen like times two equals sixty-nine. <laughs> I don't think that math checks out, but uh, but we all know how bad I am at counting. So who am I to tell you otherwise? Thank you for that reminder of your re nude subscription, Lemon Stream. Appreciate that support as always. Also, you guys have uh, you guys have access to the same uh, gamble game, so you can do gamble sixty-nine. And uh, throw all your nuts in the uh, in the ring. Uh, you can also do roulette, and there is an eight ball available to you now. So have fun with that. You do have to gamble a minimum of sixty nine nuts, though, because obviously. Okay, please don't be redemption. It's not redemption. Oh, I said please, too. <laughs> Just kill that because I'm angry now. You can also use the, uh, the points command to see how many points you have. Uh, not the uh, point oints command, but the uh, the points command. You gotta spell it right. Uh, I have no idea what this guy's deck is, but we beat it. Uh, beat him? Nah, we'll just kill him. Oh, 
is Valera. Watch your back. For Doomhammer. Hey, these are the cards that we want. Double tunnel drug opener. What could go wrong? None will survive. Greetings, friend. The pleasure is mine. Charge rule! Yeah, I think that uh I think that the tunnel drug play was like really my only chance at uh getting ahead anyway, so I, I don't I don't regret the, the turn at all. I gotta kill this because of coin uh captain. Gives me a top deck for Feral Spirit, which would be ideal. Totem Golem's not bad. I'm just gonna let him uh, do some face tanking of my minions. It's worked out for us in the past. Could devolve that, or just uh, set a spirit and keep going face and devolve it later. Since I drew a one drop to uh, you know fix my curve, I think it's probably devolve. I don't have Doom Hammer, but I'm also not under that much pressure. I'd rather be the aggressor here. I'm gonna take that off the board just because of like, um, if he coins a Vile Spine or something, I get pretty far behind. Don't worry, loves. The Even that would leave me pretty far behind. I think I just want to draw three cards. Uh, picking up the Voltaic Burst is pretty good because, like, my my follow up is kind of kind of dull here. So if I'm able to hit a a Lava Shocker, basically this just allows me to uh, keep the chain going. <laughs> this guy's tough. Need that to die. Zap is a good way to make that die and continue the uh, the draw. So this allows me to play four cards this turn, right? At minimum. Beautiful. I mean, yes, we're playing directly into Skulker, but look at how many cards we just drew. What works in the it's fine. We can set up a Feral Spirit here. I'm out of threes, so we're just gonna start uh, pushing face and... Well, actually, no, we've won the board. Why not stick with it? I can go uh, Feral Spirit into uh, push face. Trust the pirates. Yep. Awkward turn. Again, we can. We're so far ahead that it makes sense to continue playing for board at this stage. We have the burst to finish already. Just need to not like get overwhelmed. I noticed a high correlation between the games I drew frog and games I won. Yeah, yeah. Spirit of the Frog is really what carries this uh, this deck. So basically, the Mulligan strategy is centered around that too. It's hard mole for Spirit of the Frog as well as Tunnel Trog and Totem Golem, so that you can survive long enough to play. Spirit of the Frog, but it's a really cool deck. Right now, it's not really doing its thing because I drew, um, I drew so much so fast that like I already exhausted some of the chains that I would normally have access to. Uh, so we can just start hurling burn at the face, right? Five. Um, 
the five plus what nine sixteen we're not quite there but maybe I'll draw with this it might have been a lethal in there but if we're being honest I was just chucking spells at the dome I wasn't really thinking about it Counting is difficult. It's effective lethal. Opponent conceded. Hey, there's a spirit of the frog. And there's a tunnel truck. I think I can keep the, the Voltaic Burst. It's not unreasonable to check for counterspell with, and it, like, kills off his, uh... Is one mana guys, as well as mad scientists. Like I think it's just fine. Yeah, so we're just gonna make the the tempo play. Hmm. Please don't kill it. No. Okay, that's fine. I want to save the uh, the zap for um for the spirit turn since I gave up the coin. That was a this actually influenced whether or not I was coining out the uh, the voltaic burst there. So there's no need to zap it here because the opponent's probably going to, um, to just go ahead and trade. Oh, this is a really good start. Yeah, you take the trade to protect the, uh, that guy. I'm really afraid of explosive, but sometimes lucky. It was equally likely that it was a counter spell there, so it's just fine. We can devolve into um, Maelstrom Portal next turn. Just because I think the portal is more important. I could also try and get a spell damage, but I think this is fine. Yep. Uh, I think the Jade Lightning was swapped out for Maelstrom Portal at the time. So I, I went for a more burn heavy list because I was trying to target specifically like Big Priest and um, and just about any Warlock. Oh, that's a, that's a trade. I think we have sufficiently frightened our opponent here, so... I'm comfortable making this trade. This tells me that it might be a Lunath in hand, right? Because you're willing to give up damage if you have the Lunath as the backup, so that's a little bit frightening. We have many secrets. Yeah. So it's either a Lunath or Burn, I'm saying. I do that. Either way, we can make a reasonable play for board. I don't think minion placement really matters. But this is why I liked uh, the Jade Lightning version, because you got to draw something with your three mana spells. They just kind of kept continuing the chain. Okay. Uh, no more counter spells, so probably a... Ice Block. Doesn't matter, I'm just throwing this upstairs. Could be a Duplicate, we'll find out. Weasley boy. There's the dupe. Okay. It's actually fine that it's duplicate, right? Like, they both come back out, but we just start uh, going dome. Killing you is really hard when your totem is hiding the whole time? I know. I know. GG, though. There's a main deck blast wave. I don't have lethal, so I don't think there's a reason to curl that at the face. Now this does 12, 19, now we have lethal. We have many secrets. As long as there's no ice block. Ah, okay. Um, well, I mean, this is still 12. We still have lethal if it's a, it can't be counter spell, so. Now 
random card is pretty good. So, six, ten. I don't have quite enough. I do have enough to uh, at least pop the block, so let's go ahead and do that. I had to do it in this kind of weird order because of the, the way that the overload worked out. It was an ice block though, so. Most of the decks that run weapon removal, you just, you can still beat just with the uh, the three cards that you get from it though. So it's not like it's the, the end of the world. I mean, yeah, it hurts and it sucks, but like Reno Warlock is really the the most relevant deck and you can beat that deck anyway, so. Oh. I think I'm going to coin the Lickum into a Totem Golem so that I can deal with a ship's cannon. Whoa! Almost played the wrong card there. I mean, the Mana Worm nerf hurt the deck, but like, the strength was in the two drops. So it's not like it's broken because of it. Yep, this is what we wanted to set up. Um, if there is an... Oof. Okay. That's fine. I think I'd take this attack. I don't see a reason to. I might be able to clear off a minion with it. Or even that. Could also just burn that down if I were really that afraid. Uh, can I take four here? That actually makes this a lot easier to deal with. Um, just gonna delay our spirit turn. We don't need value right now. We need to. We need to not die. This helps me not die. I'm not guaranteed to have the overload next turn, so I think that attacking there makes sense. I do lose the ability to um, roll taunt totem. Play around Corsair. I guess it's about the same as uh, Corsair because I have to get through it anyway. But I've got how much from Crackle here? If I hit a, if I hit a lava burst, it's five, eight. I only need to hit four from the Crackle. Unfortunate. Also, what did I hit that crackle for? Okay, it wouldn't have been lethal anyway, but still a bummer. Did you comment on the combo frog shaman? What is the the combo frog shaman? Is it just Malagos at the top? Uh-oh, he's gonna crush us. 